on my cute little spiral staircase. Let me just come down to you. Oh, how'd you get there? Come here, I want to tell you something. So, the thing I wanted to tell you is, hi, hello. My name is Denisha and I'm a part-time artist. Well, it's more of a hobby right now, but I'm trying to turn it into something, so this video will be the first step into the right direction, which is setting up my art studio. Well, I hope that you liked my intro. I know it was a bit awkward, but I'm hoping to get more used to the camera as time goes by. But anyway, I actually have already uploaded a video on setting up my corner desk area. So I figure I'll show you a little bit of the process while doing a voiceover and then we'll move on to the next part of the studio makeover. While I'm setting this up, I wanted to give you a little bit of my background as this video might come as a surprise to a lot of you who've watched my previous videos. As I mentioned already, my name is Denisha and I actually come from a tiny tropical island called Mauritius and I moved to Chicago to study mechanical engineering, then moved to Seattle for my full-time job. As most Mauritians, I speak four languages, which is English, French, Creole, and not the greatest Hindi. I wanted to mention that as I know I look a specific way, but my background is different from what most people decipher from my appearance. Basically, I come from an African country who looks Indian but speak French-based Creole as a mother tongue. It's always been a struggle for me having to explain my background, especially when you can't really fit into a specific box, but I think it's time for me to stop hiding and own who I am. And I decided to finally show my face in my videos as I have been painting and posting on YouTube for a while now and it's so enjoyable being with the art community here. However, I've noticed that this community does have some specific demographic that is pushed more to the public. And don't get me wrong, I love all the artist YouTubers I watch. They inspire me so much every day when I watch them. But with time, I couldn't help but think how much I also wanted to see someone that might look more like me or a bit different than the rest while creating odd vlogs, painting videos, etc. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe YouTube is just recommending specific videos to me, but that still says something about this platform. So I'm here to hopefully make a change and inspire others to be more comfortable in their skin, even if they think they might not fit into a specific box. So I have been painting on and off during the weekends as I work a full-time job in the tech industry and being in my previous space, I've been limiting myself to only painting in my sketchbook. But as time went by, I've been feeling a different kind of restlessness. So when my partner and I came across this house during our search, I just fell in love with this beautiful sunroom. I instantly saw myself painting and creating pieces and to be honest, even seeing myself dancing around while painting and being so close to nature. So once I moved in, I quickly set up a desk to at least keep painting in my sketchbook. But now it's time to finish the rest of the studio. But first of all, let's just clean up because there is a bunch of mess here. And if I want to start putting stuff in, we got to clean it up. vacuuming it's not perfect because my vacuum is not that strong but it's a success we're gonna say it's a success so I'm just gonna rearrange everything um, to get started with it's gonna be a working progress but yeah and then we're gonna start setting up some art stuff So 
I got a bunch of things. I think it's a pretty successful trip. So let me just put it down and tomorrow I'll open it because I'm pretty hungry right now. As you can probably tell by now, I absolutely love this spiral staircase and it's also because it reminded me of my grandma's place. She had a staircase like that and I remember spending most of my childhood playing, running up and down these stairs. I might not see my grandma's place as often now but I hope that this place will help me connect back to my childhood self every once in a while and be able to creatively express myself as freely as the 10 year old me used to. got a lot of canvases at the thrift store I don't know if you're like me you find them for cheap and then you buy them thinking you're gonna make a lot of painting and it's two years later and you still haven't done anything but this time we're gonna change it I bought this canvas at a thrift store for like I think like three dollars four dollars um, I'm just gonna paint over it and make my own painting out of it so I think I'm gonna be setting up all my canvas laid out in front of me so that way i do remember to paint on them uh, i could place that at least over here Well, not too exciting compared to other art stuff I got, but we finally got a chair to be able to sit at my desk here. So far, I've been stealing the chair from my home office and I needed a chair for the art place, so this will be my designated chair. So now that I got three fake plants, I gotta figure out where to put it. Now, which one works better, this one or this one? Or both? Let me know, maybe I could one here, maybe in the corner? Also, I bought some stuff from Goodwill and actually also stopped at an antique store to buy some stuff and as you've seen in the video, I bought this cute little set. I bought this cute little container which I'm gonna definitely keep either my oils, linseed oil in it or paint thinner. So I thought, It'd be cute to have that. And 
I need to stop with my fake plant. I got one more, so yeah. <laughs> oh, and it actually came with pot. I think that looked pretty cute. Um, the second thing I got. Oh yes. I've been looking for this glass candle holder, so I actually found three of them. I ended up rambling here but I was saying that I got those candle holders and also found two cute glass containers which I thought would be nice to have when cleaning my brushes in between painting. <laughs> I also got this. I don't know where I'm gonna place it yet but I liked it. I know I still have a couple more final touches to add in the studio but while waiting for my packages to come, I was itching to get started and finally paint in my studio. Creating this space inspired me to finally paint on bigger scale and I was so happy to be able to use my acrylic paint again. But before I started, I had to prime the thrift of the canvas. And I'm not gonna lie, even if I've been saying how much I'm excited to paint bigger, setting up the canvas made it real for me, and I was nervous. I was thinking, what if it turned out bad in the end, but I reminded myself, just like I've been reminding you in my previous videos, which is to enjoy the process without caring about the end. Because art to me is also about having fun, and you can't have fun if you set too many expectations. So shut off those preconceived judgments you might have of yourself or from others and listen to your heart instead. As for my painting, I wanted to recreate an older sketchbook painting but I was debating between two and I ended up choosing the one that was calling my name at the moment. I think you can either recreate an old master study to learn from previous artists but you might be surprised that you can also inspire yourself. I'm sure that you at least have some paintings you've done in the past that you're proud of and I believe looking back on your work can also help you move forward. So here's to moving forward and learning from our past self as well. And since we talk about shedding expectation, I wanted to work for this painting at my own pace and didn't want to force myself to finish it by the end of this video. I know I've always tried to show the final result by the end of my videos, but I think it's time to normalize showing the process and taking our time to work for our creation. Because for us artists, working hard doesn't mean creating as many paintings as possible. I think it's about discovering yourself as you create something at your own pace.
Although I haven't finished the painting, I wanted to add some final touches and decorations and hope that you still enjoy this video. But don't worry, I will definitely share the final result when I finish it, but it might be in my upcoming videos soon. So feel free to follow me here and make sure that you have the notification button turned on for me. I can't wait to share this new art journey with you.